Welcome to the ZepOS Program Environment Setup and Development Beginner's Guide. In this video, you will gain a clearer understanding of setting up the ZepOS Mini Program local environment and the workflow for developing mini programs. This video is divided into four parts. 1. Environment Setup 2. Project Creation with Zeus CLI 3. Run and Debug the Program 4. Program and Physical Device Demonstration Part 1. Environment Setup First, to set up the local environment, we need to download and install the tools as shown above. Developers can choose to install them manually or use the one-click installation script provided by us. The manual installation process can be completed as needed on the official website. Next, I will explain how to use the one-click installation script. Developers can access the official website and locate environmental preparation in the Quick Start section. Here, you will find the procedures and considerations for setting up the environment on Windows, macOS, and Linux. First, let's introduce the operations in the Windows environment. After downloading and extracting the env setup script, run PowerShell with administrator privileges, navigate to the folder, as shown in the video. In this demonstration on a Windows environment, we navigate to the Win 10-11 folder, and then enter the command backslash env helper ps1 to run the script. If you encounter the issue as shown in the video, you will need to enter set execution policy execution policy unrestricted to enable script execution. After successfully running the script, it will quickly check and install the necessary software tools for ZepOS development environment, including Node.js, NPM, Zeus CLI, and TAP slash TUN Network Virtual Network Interface Card. Once the installation is complete according to the system prompts, your development environment is successfully set up. The following is an explanation of the operations in the macOS environment. Just like the previous demonstration, navigate to the slash macOS directory of the env setup project and execute the script using the command bash env helper.sh in the command line. If you receive an error message, manually grant permissions in system preferences under privacy and security. Finally, we will discuss the operations in a Linux environment. In Linux, it is recommended to use the system's built-in terminal to execute commands. Navigate to the slash Linux directory of the env setup project and run the script. Part 2, Project Creation with Zeus CLI Developers can find the download link for the simulator in the Tools section of the official website. After downloading the simulator from the official website, double-click to open it. 
The interface will appear as shown in the video after the first launch. Click on the download button to select the simulator under the corresponding device. For example, we can choose to download balance. After the download is complete, click the simulator button to start the simulator. You can see device settings and mini programs by pressing the home key on the keyboard. Since we haven't created a project yet, you'll only see settings at this point. Next, we will create a project using the Zeus CLI command line. First, switch to another drive, as creating a project on the C drive may cause permission issues during debugging. For example, here, we switch to the D drive, and in the PowerShell, we enter Zeus create hello world to create the hello world project, then follow the system prompts to configure the project. After the project is created, navigate to the project folder using the command line and enter Zeus Dev to run the program. You will be able to see the program in the simulator and can start it by clicking on the simulator. Part 3, Run and Debug the Program Next, we will use Visual Studio Code to compile and debug the Hello World Mini program. Find the project created in the D drive in the folder and enter npm install to install the required packages. Then, enter Zeus Dev to run the project. Afterward, you will find the Hello World project in the simulator list. Click on the simulator, and then start the simulator. Now, we can start modifying the code for debugging. Go into the index file inside the page module, change the vertical position of the text from 200px to 100px. After saving, Ctrl plus S, you will see the real-time changes in the program, with the text shifting upwards. Try modifying the text content by adding ZeppOS after text, and you will see this string displayed in the program as well. These operations demonstrate how you can compile the program in this way. Part 4 Program and Physical Device Demonstration Developers can find the sample mini program source code we provide on our official website. Go to the App section of the website, locate Sample App, and you will see several mini programs available. Click on the links to clone the code to your local environment. The first program is Calories, and we'll start by demonstrating it on the simulator. By clicking on the link of the mini program sample, download the code to your local device. Then, using the terminal in Visual Studio Code, navigate to the Calories location and enter the command Zeus Dev to create the project. Our Balance Watch face is compatible with the 3.0 program, so we choose Balance to demonstrate it. Open the simulator, and you will see the project in the list. Please note that the platform you download should match. The Calories program can display the user's calorie consumption and help us understand how much of a particular food is consumed in terms of calories. For example, 300 calories is equivalent to 6 cookies. By clicking the button, you can select other foods to replace each with its own calorie consumption. After selecting cake, the quantity is shown as zero because 300 calories is not enough for one cake, and the same applies to sausage. 
Next, we will demonstrate the program on a real balance watch. Using the terminal in Visual Studio Code, navigate to the Calories location and enter the command Zeus Preview to run the program and configure the project. This will display a QR code in the terminal. You will need to use the ZEP app on your mobile phone to scan this QR code. After opening the app, click on Profile, go to Settings, click About, and keep clicking on the ZEP logo until it displays that Developer Mode has been enabled. Then, return to Profile, select the connected device in My Devices, in this case, Balance. Click on Developer Mode at the bottom and click the plus icon in the top right to select Scan. You can now scan the QR code. After scanning, the mini program will be installed on your balance watch. Find the program on your watch, and you can run the demonstration. The operation is the same as in the simulator, and the program can reflect the user's calorie consumption. Thank you for watching the ZepOS Mini Program Environment Setup and Development Getting Started tutorial video. If you have any questions or suggestions, please feel free to contact us.